Hi guys, it's me. So today I'm gonna be showing you what I eat on a day or in a day on my diet. Well, sort of. This is my lunch. So what I did was I made corn on the cob, two corn on the cobs. I just boiled them in water, and then here I have a stuffed grape, <laughs> a stuffed grape leaf. Okay, it's stuffed with cheese. Um, I didn't make this. I got this from Meyer. And then I have some sauce back there that you can't see. It's holding up my phone, so sorry. And then here I have some cottage cheese with green onion on it. And then I have spring rolls that I made with kale, pico de gallo, um, barbecue brisket from my work, which is Buffalo Wild Wings. And then I got some weird cheese cubes that I put in there, like these really soft uh cheese cubes i don't know and then some raw onion and then i have four of those so um i already ate one but uh, this is pretty much you know just a, a good idea of what kind of stuff i'll be eating because um i ate like this so the the deal is you don't eat a lot of bread and, um, you know, I'm not going to be eating a lot of, like, anything like that. Like, no bread, no rice. Well, except for this. This is very light. It's rice paper. It's not, like, full-on rice. So, that's why. I mean, I could eat spring rolls. Plus, this is the only way I like to eat kale. Um, I don't really like eating kale salads because I'm fucking tired of salad. Fuck you, salad. <laughs> no, but, like, that's how I feel. And then we have some kind of cheese. I mean, this is a good little meal. Um, I just be eating the corn. You know, I don't need butter on it. But you can put butter on the corn. I don't give a fuck. No, but. Because, like, I would eat a lot more than this. And I would lose weight. Um. You know, I would eat, like, minimal bread. I would eat, like, a few pretzels. Like, a handful of pretzels or two at night. And then I would have, like, six chicken breasts a day. And, like, I lost, like, 10, 12 pounds doing that. Just not even trying. I was literally just eating whenever I wanted. Which is quite often. And I would eat, like, seven bananas a day. And it's, it's a lot. But it's also, like... Yeah, it's healthy. So, it's better than eating, you know, a pizza and then some chips. It's a lot better for your body, um, obviously. It's whole foods. So, these foods are, well, I mean, whole foods enough. Practically. Pretty whole foods, you know. Like, fucking corn on the cob, bitch. That's pretty whole food. I didn't put anything on this. But, I was just kind of like an idea of like what I'll be eating plus I'm just bored but um I do have like other stuff throughout the day like the other day I had like some boba tea but uh that's not really it like a food item but um I don't really eat like drink boba tea very often plus I I got boba tea packs back there but um but yeah um and then, like, on my diet, like, I ate, I remember I ate, like, a whole, a whole giant watermelon. And the next day, I weighed, like, two pounds less. Well, it was, it was, not, before I ate the watermelon that I weighed myself. So, it wasn't the water weight. It was just, like, my stomach visibly was smaller than the prior week after I ate that. I don't know. It was weird. So, this is an idea of what I'll be eating. But, um, I eat more than this, obviously, throughout the day. This is just my, like, um, I don't, I don't know what I ate this morning. I think I had, I know I, oh yeah, I had two eggs at work. They were boiled eggs. I had two boiled eggs, and then I had two pieces of bacon. That was my breakfast. And then I put some everything seasoning on it, which is like some, um, uh, What's it called? It's like this, um, what is it? 
it's like sesame seed and like a little bit of salt and black sesame seed. I don't know. I didn't put very much on the eggs, but um, that's what I had at work. And then I had an orange. And then I'm eating this. And then I obviously had one of these spring rolls already. But I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm like a big dieter. Like I, not really a big dieter, but I know like how to eat a lot and lose weight. I just haven't been because I was just like lusting over pizza and stuff. But like I can definitely diet like this. It's not even a diet. It's more like just like a, it's like a new, new lifestyle. More like it's not really like a diet because a diet like, I could say I went on the diet for two weeks, and then I stopped the diet, and then, you know, obviously I gained the weight back because I was eating pizza and shit, but, um, but yeah, you can eat a lot, um, but I keep, you know, stuff like rice and bread to the, like, bare minimum, so obviously this is very light, it's rice paper, um, I double wrap some of these, rice paper is very light, like, it's, it's probably, you know, very easily digested obviously I mean it's so thin I mean it's a little sticky but you know whatever um foods that are easily digested you know um they go like right through you so the next day you won't be like bloated and shit cause like when I eat pizza it's in me for a while uh but with foods like this it tends to go like in the toilet you know, within, like, a day or less. It really depends. But that's it. And, uh, I don't worry about, like, sauces or anything. Like, I just put as much sauce on shit as I want. Uh, you know. It's just sauce. It's not, like, a, like, a bulky item that you put in your stomach. You know, it's not, like, it's gonna fucking, like, make your stomach go like this from having some fucking sauce on your chicken or something. I don't know. But, um, I'm g this isn't all I'm eating the whole day, obviously. I'm gonna eat more. Um. But, yeah. Did I show you my cottage cheese? It's right here. I need a spoon. Hold on. So, in high school, I weighed, like, 185. Now I weigh, like, 140. But, um, I weighed, like, 140 when I did this diet before. And I lost, like, 10 pounds in, like, two weeks. And I wasn't exercising. Now I'm doing exercises, too, because, like, I had to stop for a while, for, like, a year, because I had, like, a really bad spine injury. I couldn't even fucking get up out of bed. I was so crippled, bro. I thought I broke my spine. I literally was like, oh my god, what is happening? But now I, like, run. I can run for, like, an hour straight now. So that's good. I don't know if you could call it running. I mean, I'm short, so, like, running at 5.0 is good for me. Like, I have asthma, too, so it's, like... I don't know. I have lung problems, bro. Like, even now, sometimes my lungs give me problems. It's not, like, really bad. But, yeah. And this is low-fat cottage cheese. I, I like the whole cottage cheese better. Um, so, yeah, go ahead and eat whole cottage cheese. I It doesn't matter. And I eat as much cheese and shit as I want. And meat. Uh, on this diet before, you know, like I said, I was on it for, like, two weeks at 140, and then, like, I went down to, like, 130. So, um, the reason why I didn't stay on it was because I wanted pizza. But, but now, like, it's very easy to stay on because of the fact that you can eat so much food. Because it's not, like, bread. And if you know anything about bread... Like, if you eat a lot of bread, it, like, becomes, like, rocky. Sort of, like a, like, a big rock in your stomach. And it's not, it, it's gonna make you constipated and shit. And that's why your turds look like rabbit turds, okay? Rabbit turds, my turds don't look like rabbit turds, okay? 
just so you know. <laughs> but yeah. But um. But yeah. Oh no. But these spring rolls. I put like two or three blocks of cheese each. And then just like a tad of uh, the barbecue brisket. And I think this one's double rolled because I have to double roll them sometimes because if I don't, then it rips. So uh, I like to keep it like a burrito and not like a fucking mess. So sometimes I put two, but other times I put one because sometimes, you know, you just overfill it. But it, it, it's good. Like this one, this one's a fat bitch. Okay, this one had one and it ripped as you can see. And you can see the pico and the raw onion. There's a lot of kale. Most of it is kale. Um, so yeah, that's really how I like to eat my kale. Kale is very good for you. But, um, but yeah. And, uh, yesterday I had mango, I had grapefruit, I had an orange, I had, what else did I have? I think I had spring rolls. Um, I had five naked tenders from my work, which is just grilled chicken. If you know anything about Buffalo Wild Wings, it's grilled chicken. And I and I cooked it, so I made sure the grill was clean and free of like all that greasy shit. But it's grilled chicken. It doesn't have any breading, and it's not like fried in oil or anything. So uh, it's grilled chicken. Grilled chicken's good for you. You know, I put some fucking sauce on it sauce with my chicken yes please i'm not gonna eat just grilled chicken i'm sorry i need sauce sauce is delectable okay if i don't have sauce i cry okay that's it i just really i don't know but yeah that's really, like, all I have to say about that. I don't know. Like, it's a pretty good diet. It's not even a diet. I Should I even call it? I mean, it's a diet. Like, you, it's a dietary thing. So, I guess it's a diet. But, um, here, I'll show you guys something. Like, I'll eat nuts like this, like raw almonds. I don't really like salty shit. I don't, I don't, don't eat the salty shit. That shit has so much salt in it that it just, like, I remember eating, like, a lot of salty almonds once and, like, my mouth was so dry. My mouth was dry as fuck. If you suffer from dry mouth, um, I would suggest going on this diet because... You know, there's not, like, a lot of sodium, really. Uh, and uh, sodium, I noticed, like, when I ate, like, a whole pizza or whatever from Little Caesars, uh, my mouth that night was so dry. You know, it's dry as fuck. It's like the Sahara Desert. I don't know. And I was like, oh, my God. It was because I ate the pizza. And that's literally it. There's a lot of sodium. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, salt is definitely not good for your mouth, bro. Sorry. I like to eat my corn on the cob because it's delicious. <laughs> No, I already had an orange before I came home, so I don't really need any fruit in this meal. I'm realizing I changed a lot as a human being, you know? I just, like, I don't know, I changed a lot. And, like, now I just, like, I'm friendly to people. Well, like, 
I don't know. It's like, I'll be friendly to you for, like, a day. And then, like, the next day I'll, like, shut up because I don't feel like talking. And I think that throws people off. Because they're like, oh, she doesn't like me. Or, oh, what's going on? Is she sad? No, I just don't feel like it. You know, I just can't do that every day. <laughs> I just can't. Sorry. Like, if I, if I like you, I'll say hi to you. You know, I, I just can't keep that energy. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do that. I feel like that's very fake of me to keep that energy because not everyone's like that all the time. And I sure as fuck am not. Like, sorry, but this is who I am. Sometimes I'm happy to talk to people. Other times I'm, I just don't want to talk. You know? And a lot of people, they probably get thrown off, which is understandable. But, it also gives me time to like observe people to see who they are when I'm not talking to them, stuff like that. I feel like that's very important because you know I can be overly friendly sometimes and I don't like you that much and I just decided maybe I should stop because I don't like you that much Damn, I sound like a bitch. No, but I really don't. So why why fake it, right? Why should I fake being so happy to talk to you when I'm not? <laughs> it's like, I might be happy to talk to you. Or I might just be happy to be flapping my lips. I don't know. That might be it. Sorry, that was corn, not a booger, okay? Look. Well, like a piece of cat hair just flew on my corn on the cob down there that I ate. I'll probably do. But yeah. And I feel like, you know, whenever I, like, eat... Whenever I eat now, I tend to eat, like, just a tad bit slower. Because... I don't know why, actually. I just kind of noticed that earlier when I was eating the bacon and eggs. Like, I was just, like, enjoying it more. I don't even know. Because, like, with, with junk foods, it's just so easy to just pound it in, you know? It's fucking easy as fuck. That shit's delicious. Not that this food isn't. But it's just, you know, I think it's an American thing. And I'm an American. And in our culture... We have a lot of fried foods, and fried foods are the worst foods. And I was watching this uh, this documentary on this guy who went to, I think it was Vietnam, because they have like 2.3% obesity, which is like the lowest in the world. And he was like, I'm gonna go there and see why, you know, why they're so skinny. Or why they're not obese, you know? So, he went over there. And he said he noticed. There's not a lot of fried foods. Most of them are whole foods. Like rice. You know, grilled stuff. Not fried. You don't be seeing no chips there, bruh. But, he noticed there's like whole food markets and shit like that. Makes sense. That makes sense why America is among the most obese. Because here where I live in Indiana, you don't see anything 
practically but obese people. And when I went to Hawaii, I noticed that there's like a lot less. And I was like, whoa. Because <laughs> where I'm from, everyone's fat. Like, everyone's fat. And, you know, it's just kind of a cultural thing. It's not, you know, I don't know, it's really weird. Because that's a part of the United States. It's just a different part. But yeah. <clears throat> so here I have my spring roll. Hold on. I need to grab my drink. I'm thirsty. Sorry about that. Okay, so. Uh, and, okay. I'm saying that dessert is okay. Okay, so here I have this Asian Zing sauce from. It's pretty much. Um, that sauce you get for spring rolls, except spicier, but, um, sweet chili, it tastes exactly like it, except really spicy. Well, not really spicy, but spicy. Spicier than the chili. But that's what it looks like. A lot of kale in there. I really like kale. Look. I like kale in my spring roll, but not spinach. It's like a whole different like texture. And this texture, I feel like goes really well with the rice paper. And it's just is really good. I don't know. Cuz before I hated kale, but then I put it in a spring roll and it made it so much better. I don't know if it was the sauce. I don't know if it was just because they look pretty. <laughs> that might be part of it. I mean, they do look pretty beautiful. Look at that. Well, not that. Well, I mean, it looks pretty beautiful, honestly. It looks like it came from a restaurant. Look at me go. Oh, yeah, I perfected my spring roll. Well, except for the <laughs> big fatty, but it's for me anyway. I can taste some of that cheese cube in there. So the cheese cube had like some, uh, I don't know if it was like garlic and chives or something. Something like that. It's like garlic and chive. It was pretty good. I only put like two or three, mostly three. Uh, and they're really like soft pieces of cheese almost like it's softer than goat cheese okay and if you know anything about goat cheese goat cheese is pretty soft so it's softer than that it's probably like really processed but whatever bro it's going in my spring roll okay plus it's cheese bro See, this is why I double layer my spring rolls, because they get holes in them. This one's huge, and it only has one, which definitely might be why, but it's also like, 
if it had two layers, it wouldn't have a hole in it, you know? So, uh, that's, that's a big part of why I double air it. Oopsie. So, that's a big boy. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah. So it's falling out, but the other two will be a lot easier to eat than this one. This one's going to be hard. That's why I chose it. I was like, okay, time for the hard one. <laughs> Now this has like flavor in it already because it has like barbecue on the brisket because uh, it's not just brisket it's barbecue brisket like I said so it's got like some sweet barbecue on it it's pretty good but yeah it's mostly kale I really like kale and uh, raw onions really good for you Raw onions are good antibiotic. And, um, uh, I gotta tell you guys something. My mom had night, like, I don't know, was it liver failure or kidney failure? And she was like in stage five. And then she went on a plant diet for a year and a half. And it went down to stage two. And she went to the doctor. And the doctor was like, Looked at her charts and was like, what the fuck? How did you do that? And then she goes, oh, well, I went, I went on the plant diet. I, I only ate, like, whole foods and plants. And he was like, oh, my God, I've never seen anyone do that. But, yeah, so diet really affects your overall health, you know? Plants are medicine, okay? And we got to keep that in mind. Also... A part of why I'm doing this diet is because I don't want to look old when I'm like 45. I want to look young. So, fried foods have a tendency to age your body, uh, you know, faster. And uh, I didn't know that until I looked it up. So I was like, oh my god, I don't want to be old. I don't want to look old and wrinkly. So I was like, okay, I gotta go on this diet. Look, the less fried foods you eat, the better. My cat is so beautiful. Oh, you're so beautiful. I'm saving this one for last because it's like the nicest one. This one's nice, but it's only like, you know, not as nice. It's a little floppier.
I also like to eat a lot of crackers and cheese. But I do like to keep, like, bread to a minimum. But crackers and cheese has a, splash, a special place. I do keep it to a minimum. But, uh, I do like crackers. Sorry. This sauce is spicy. And, uh, you know, it's just kind of burning. <laughs> It's burning. I need help. I kind of want boba tea. I don't know if I should make boba tea. Maybe I should. I make it with oat milk. You know what? That sounds really good right now. Maybe I will do that. Because, well, I have a few packs. And, well, this is my first time making a mukbang in a long time. Plus, sounds good. I'm going to make boba tea. Hold on there. Okay guys, so here I have some Simply Oat. And that one's the creamy one. So I put a bit of oat milk in with my boba. <clears throat> and I'm going to use my matcha. Because that's what I want. So, like I said, I don't have boba tea a lot, but I like boba tea. It's good. And then I'm going to pour it in here. Four. Boba tea is not good for you. But, uh, it's not bread. It's not bread, and I let myself have it. That's just the truth. Sugary. But I don't drink it a lot. So, uh, there's that. Then you mix it up. Mix it up, Mr. Matcha. I'm probably gonna drink a part of it and then put more oat milk in it. Cause, uh, I don't know. It's probably what I'm gonna do, honestly. And then we still have some spring rolls left. Boba. Oh, I do have the boba straw, so don't freak out, okay? I'm not gonna eat boba with a spoon. That would be dumb. Oh yeah, guys, we're gonna drink boba. And then I eat it with a spoon. That'd be so dumb. But, um, this boba is, like, a little powdery. Most likely because I didn't, like, heat it up right. I never do. I just kind of drink the powder. I don't give a flying fuck. It's delicious. <laughs> but, uh... I try my best to mix it in there. Um, so they had matcha, and then they had... Oh, shit. Should have put it the other way. I didn't put ice in it, because I don't have any. And that's why. You're supposed to put ice in there. And you're also supposed to microwave it. Like, I microwaved the boba curls. Bella, stop making all that noise. My cat, uh, sorry, she's crinkly. She's a crinkle crap! <laughs> Bella, you're such a crinkle crap. <laughs> she's a crinkle crap. Bella, you're a crinkle crap. Stop! <laughs> Bella! That's right, you better listen to me. Listen to me, Bella. She's such a crinkle crap. Bella, stop. I'm trying to make a mukbang. Fuck. Look at those bobas. Oh, so beautiful. Sorry, I was trying to show you the boba. Can I, can I want to watch anime? Oh, God, look at me nerding out. I'm sorry, I haven't watched anime in years. I just, uh, I don't know. I just stopped watching everything. I don't watch anything. No movies, no anything. My attention span's very shitty. Even if someone's talking to me, I'm just like, what? I'm like, huh? 
What? I don't know. I don't know what you were talking about, but okay. Ah, <clears throat> oh, man. Oh, no. My shit's falling apart. If you don't know what boba tea is, the boba, which is the balls at the bottom, they're made out of tapioca pearls, okay? Or whatever else you can make boba out of. You can make them out of a bunch of different kinds of stuff. But most of the time, the typical one's tapioca pearls, okay? So it's like this bouncy ball stuff that you kind of just chew. It's very interesting and I like it just because it looks pretty and it just makes me happy. <laughs> I don't know. Ugh. I feel bad for that one. So we're on the last one now. But am I done eating? Not yet. Okay. This is what I would literally just eat uh, at home alone. I just swallowed one. I was I was wondering the other day if anyone ever choked on boba and never drank boba ever again because they were so angry. I'm never drinking you again, Boba. Because <laughs> they choked on it and almost died. Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> they just choked on the Boba and died. <laughs> no, he's so fucked up. <laughs> he was so fucked up, bro. Oh, he choked on his Boba and he died. Ha! <laughs> what if... <laughs> what if someone had on their grave? I died because I choked on Boba. <laughs> Some Asian guy would have that, wouldn't he? He's like, yeah, I love Boba. Can you put on my, can you put on my grave that I died? Cause I, cause I choked on a Boba Pearl. <laughs> That'd be funny. Maybe that should be on my grave. I feel like that's awesome. Okay. If I ever die, you guys have to put on my grave. I died because I choked on Boba. Okay, and then you have to have a little, a little boba, boba drink on there, like a little boba en en engravement. This is really good. Pink is up. Have you guys heard that one song where the guy, he sounds like Pooh, like Winnie the Pooh? I, I forgot what song that was, but he sounds like fucking Winnie the Pooh. Every time I listen to him, I, I think of Winnie the Pooh. I'm like, why do you sound like Winnie the Pooh? <laughs> like, huh? I'm so confused as, you, as to why you sound like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> you know what? Oh, yeah. I also decided I was going to stop drinking alcohol, but I don't know if I'm going to do that forever because honestly, that sounds good right now because alcohol ages you too. I don't smoke cigarettes, but that's one thing I'm doing right. <laughs> My sister smokes cigarettes and she's 40. She's got no wrinkles and she drinks. Uh, I'm like, oh, well, all right. Hopefully I'll look that good when I get old. <laughs> she doesn't work out or do whole food diet, so hopefully, you know, hopefully I'll be looking as good as her when I get old. Not, not that she's old, but she's older than me. I still got a long time until I'm that old. I'm 23 now. 
I feel old, but I'm not. I I really am not much different than when I was eighteen. I mean, I'm different, but not that much. <laughs> It's like I still feel like I have that, like, teenage zest. Ew. No, but, like, in a, in a, in a good, innocent way, like, you know, like a, like a young personality, like, I don't know. You'd have to know me to figure that out, but most of the time, most of the time I'm dumb. Like, if you, if I like you, I'll show you. Which you might see some on this channel. Because, uh, honestly, I'm by myself. I'm the most comfortable I could be. Because I'm here alone. There's nobody here. Nobody to bother me. Easy. You know? I don't have to be bothered. Which is kind of why I like it. But I like people. It's just that, you know, people give me weird feelings. I don't mean that like in a, like in a, I don't know how I mean that. It's just like very emotional to be around other people. I'm filled with emotions and when I'm by myself, I still have emotions, but they're not, like, shared. Because around other people, you know, there's this thing called empathy where you just share emotions and that's what we're doing. Telepathically. And it's like, I think that's why it drains me. Because, um, I'm not used to all that. You know? Also, if I'm ever, like, friendly with you, and then the next day I don't say hi, maybe you should say hi, because I don't feel like it today, <laughs> you know? It's like, it drains me, bro. Talking to people really makes me upset. I don't know why. It makes me upset because there's so many thoughts. I think that's the main reason. Because there's so many thoughts and I'm like, they're thinking this about me, they're thinking this. But it's all in all just shared emotions. So technically, something like that's going on, most likely. That's why I don't like it. Maybe I do know what they're thinking. In a way. You know? It's empathy. Very strange. I just want to meet someone who I like a lot. You know? Like, I want to fall in love, but, uh... It's so hard when I just don't... I don't know what I'm doing with my life, you know? Not with my life, but I don't know what I'm doing. I'm definitely going to be full after this. Those are boba pearl. Some boba pearls. Oh. They got me. I'll be full for a while. I might eat something later, though. But, uh, after this, I'm gonna take me a nap. I got up at 6.30. Here's what happened, guys. I closed yesterday at 1 o'clock, okay? In the morning. And then they scheduled me for 10 in the morning. So I was like, oh, <laughs> Great! So, 
I went to bed at like 3, and then I woke up at 6.30, then I went back to sleep, and then I woke up again at 9. And then I had to get up, I had to get ready, and I was like, great, I have to go to work! I didn't go to the gym today, because uh, I was too tired. <laughs> Like, I was, like, literally I was gonna walk to the gym, but then, like, I started spacing out, and then I realized I was tired. You know, I was, like, spacing out, ready to fall asleep, and then I was like, oh, I can't go to this gym right now. Because most of the time when I go to the gym, I like to do cardio. Because, uh, well, it's easy on my spine, because I still have, you know, spine problems. Uh, I've been doing some weights and stuff, like, my muscles, like, they're, like, I mean, they're pretty, pretty decent muscles like they're very like they're larger than they were before but I don't know <laughs> but yeah How big is my muscle? Hold on. I need to pull back my fat. Hold on. I need to finish this and then we're going to check my muscles. <laughs> It'll take a while. Hold on. Ugh. I'm sorry. I got gas now. I told a guy at work I had gas and he goes, I'm for it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, if I fart, that means my butthole's open. I can't, I can't let you catch me. <laughs> My stepdad, he makes jokes about buttholes. He goes, when a butthole farts, we used to say in jail, talk to me toothless. <laughs> I was like, ew, the fuck? <laughs> what the flying shit? <laughs> ew, no. I stopped I was going back to jail soon. Sorry. Yeah. They feel bigger than they look. They're not that big. Makes me sad. Oh well. <clears throat> believe it or believe it or not, my arms are actually stronger than when I went to the gym every day. So uh <laughs> I weighed the same. It's not that I didn't like that I gained weight or anything, it's just like I don't know. Uh, I know at McDonald's we had to lift pretty heavy weights. So I think that had a lot to do with it. Them girls that work at the McDonald's, like, that are on the speakers, they're, like, the strongest bitches in the fucking building, bruh. Literally, they gotta do all the tea and shit. Oh, bitch, you got muscles. <laughs> <sighs> Some of those girls couldn't even lift the tea, so they had to get other girls to do them. Like me, I had to do it. I made myself lift it. And then after a while, it got easy. But yeah, at first it was fucking, I was like, what the fuck? Because I was working out, like I've been working out for years and I could barely lift it. I was like, uh, what? <laughs> yeah, it's like 70 pounds, bro. What the I swear it's about 70 pounds. <laughs> I 
I don't know how they'd be doing that. That's what it felt like. It felt heavy. At least 50. 60, 70, over and over and over again. Oh, I feel like it was like 70. Maybe more, bro. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but uh, it was a lot. But anyway, thanks for watching my mukbang. Uh, you guys got a you know good idea of kind of how I'm eating at the moment. So I'm gonna try and you know be as whole foods as I can. Obviously, boba tea is not really it's not like a food item. But it's, you know, I'm not worried about it. It's fucking boba tea, bruh. I don't know. But, um, anyway. You guys have a good day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.